John is really upset that his local McDonald's closed down for renovations. He's having a hard time. What? That uh. bothers you? I drove by and uh, it was this nice, like old fashioned cottage looking McDonald's, you know, it's been uh -huh. here forever and they're going to make it look like all the other ones, like those gray, lifeless buildings. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was very upset by this, Robin. It was one of the perks. Don't bullshit me. How many times a week you eat McDonald's? A few. I'd say probably three. John goes, not the other McDonald's near me are not as good. What makes your McDonald's that's near you better it's than different? the other McDonald's? Yeah, I mean, yes. who would know that? you got to eat a lot of fucking McDonald's to taste the difference. <laughs> It's fresh. It's hot. Again, they get it right. So, yeah, it is the service as well mm. as the food. John, have you fantasized about running a McDonald's? Because Gary told me you have. Like, that's yes, your dream. Yes, I, th I, I thought about buying one, actually. What would you be your management philosophy to... What are the things you would improve? I, I would insist that people know what they want when they come in versus wondering what's on the menu and this and that. I'm going to educate <laughs> How are you going to do that? <laughs> well, when they come in and they look a little lost, I'll put them on a different, I'd have different lines. If you're like new to the place or if you've been there a few times. What if they get inside and start pondering what they're going to order? Would you be or upset? Or changing their mind. I, right. would, I would have someone come over to them and escort them into the beginner line and they'd have to wait there. <laughs> and they could, because, because if you've been there for a few times, you don't deserve you should that know. kind of treatment. First, you got to spot the beginners. Who are come and those are the skinny people. Once somebody gets plump enough, you know to put them right in the <laughs> other line. John told me once when he's ordering at McDonald's, he will box out the other customers oh, yeah. to get his orders before the customers can even order. So in other he's words, he's not what, moving what? away until no. that order comes out. I will take one step to the right to let the next person come up, but I will stay there waiting for my food. And, you know, I can get a view of the kitchen and see if they're doing it correctly. Because if you don't do that, a lot of times <laughs> they'll just forget about you. And again, right. because I special order, it may not be correct. And I don't want to, you know. What I, is I'm your being, special order? What is your special order? People want to know. McDonald's, I get a yep. double quarter pounder plain with no cheese, large size. That's the order. Right. Which means two patties on, a, on, on, a, on the bun, nothing on it. No, no ketchup, no pickles, nothing on it. An order of fries and a drink, which should take about three seconds to make because there's not Why? cheese, there's nothing. So what happens sometimes is they deliver your bag of food. You sit down at the table and you go, oh, no, there's cheese. I told no. these fuckers. There's all the toppings, no. yeah. No, 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 you're wrong. What I'll do, and this is obnoxious, I admit it. If I'm at the drive through let's say, and yeah. they give me my order... I do not pull away until I open the bag, inspect the burger, make sure that there's no cheese on it, and then I go. And if there is cheese on it, I hand it right back. All right, so role play with me. Sir, would you please move to spot number one, sir? You, but you got it wrong the first time, so how do I know that you're going to get it correct the second time? Because we're highly trained at McDonald's <laughs> University, and we know what we're doing, sir. Would you please move to lane one? As, as long as I know that my burger will be the way that I ordered it. And by the way, sir, if there is cheese on your burger, let's say we fuck up. How about you just scrape the cheese off and get and get on your way? Doesn't work that way, because the cheese gets so melted into the burger and onto the bun, it completely destroys the, uh, the experience that I'm looking for in getting my plain double quarter pounder. You know what's interesting to me? They probably know John's car. He's so obnoxious. And they can see it in the lawn. And they go, oh, oh no. <laughs> I walked up one day and I didn't even order. They just put it in and said, it's, you know, 847. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know why they renovated John's local McDonald's? They were afraid yeah. his ass wouldn't fit through the door. He's been going there so much. <laughs>